Hi guys, welcome to my next photography review. This time, I'm going to be reviewing the Cyan Bird tripod, which Bemro have kindly allowed me to use for the purpose of this video. Watch this video to find out more. Okay, first impressions, the Cyan Bird Tripod by Bemro. Look at this box, it is so modern and sleek. Got the lovely Bemro logo right on the front of the box. It just looks professional and appealing. So let's get this box opened up. Right, here we go then guys. So here is the travel case that the Cyan Bird comes in. It's got the Bemro design embossed onto leather on the front of the bag. It's got a good grip handle and it's got two latches just on its side, which rolls up into an open face design to reveal the tripod. And just before I go into the review of the tripod, I just love its open face design. Not only has it got compartments, which you can keep batteries, shutter release cables. So here it is, the star of the show, the Cyan Bird tripod by Bembro. So this tripod, the Cyan Bird, will take my photography to new levels. It is a lovely tripod, guys, because when I'm holding it now, it feels as light as a feather. And, you know, you can just feel at the same time that it's so durable. This is because this tripod is made of both aluminium and carbon fiber. Not only lightweight in property, but they're also rigid, which means as an astrophotographer, this will be perfect for me because I need a tripod, which my camera is not susceptible to the elements like the wind, for example. So on the side of the tripod leg here, you can see four aluminium tripod leg locks. Now these are really good because not only does it mean that that you can extend your tripod up to 155 centimeters in length. It just gives you that peace of mind that your tripod legs are gonna be securely fastened into place. There are so many tripods I've used in my time where you just haven't got that vote of confidence that your tripod is fixed in place. So when you get to that moment of wanting to photograph your subject, you notice your tripod slowly moving and your image can be ruined. So really good design by Benmo here. As you can see on the bottom, rubber tripod feet. This is so important for astrophotography because you need grip on hard terrain surfaces. When you have got that, it just means your tripod is less likely to move around in tougher environments. So when the tripod is folded up, it reaches an overall height of 46 centimeters and the tripod legs themselves are adjustable in three modes. First being this one, the second this, and the third like that. So this tripod features a ball head adapter which is 24 millimeters in width. And when I remove the tripod head, it reveals a free ape screw. This is really important because it keeps this ball head firmly in place to the tripod. And the quick release plate just on the top of the tripod includes an international quarter inch screw to attach your camera to the tripod. So altogether, this tripod weighs 1.05 kilograms and can hold a payload of up to four kilograms. So as a landscape astrophotographer, this is really good news to me because not only will it support some of my larger telephoto lenses, but also star trackers as well. So I can just simply remove the ball head and use the free screw underneath. And what's good to see on any tripods I use is that we've got a bubble meter there. So using the leg adjustments, we are sure to get our tripod central in a small amount of time. Right, so let's take a look at the ball head for a second. The ball head included is an N00P ball head. Now these ball heads are good because they are a single action ball head, which includes a locking knob and a panning quick release platform for accurate positioning. This is really useful as an astrophotographer for when you're making those minute adjustments to your composition, you're able to do so using this platform. You can just simply lock it into place and the ball head will not move. And so this feature acts independently to the main ball functions of the head. And what's really good to see by Bemro is that they've included additional one quarter inch thread accessories, which means if you wish to, you could attach extra extra lights, microphones to your tripod, so you're making best use of your rig setup. And what's really good about the Cyan Bird is that it has a splittable central column, which means if you want to, you can change the orientation of your ball head, like so. You just have to put your weight hook on the top 
lock it into place and you can shoot from much lower angles. I think it's quite cool myself. Okay, so some personal and honest reviews of the Cyan Bird itself. Personally for me, I like to use tripods which are travel friendly so that they are light, affordable and durable as well. I think that the Cyan Bird is a good contender for these properties because it's 46 centimeter height means that it can easily be attached to one of my camera bags so when I go out shooting I've got easy access to the tripod and can set it up in a small amount of time. Also build quality as well, it has got a bit of weight to it but it's not too heavy which for me I think is a really good feature of the Cyan Bird so it just gives you some peace of mind again that you're going to be shooting with a durable tripod. The combination of aluminium and carbon fibre I think is a good one personally because you're looking for lightweight durable properties but personally myself though from the experience I have of photographing the night sky you need to shoot low and that's why I think this tripod especially with its different extensions is a good one. So if I can divert your attention a second to my image which is of the Aurora Borealis above the Mendit here in Somerset I was using this tripod when I took this photograph and it was quite gusty I must say that night we had good 40 mile an hour wind and even using the Cyan Bird at lower elevations I was able to get crisp sharp images again that's what I love about the adjustments here on the tripod leg it's just giving me that reassurance that the tripod is fixed in place like you can try and move that and it will not budge which is a really good feature on the tripod design and what's quite good some photographers decide to use it or not but also the adjustment knob here where you've got full control of the tripod head personally i find it slips around a bit too much for my liking so i just like to turn it ever so slightly to make those minor adjustments or otherwise i'll make those adjustments accordingly on the tripod leg and if appropriate i can align that centrally using these fine adjustments what i particularly love about the cyan bird is the quick release platform so on many occasions now i have used tripods where i'm trying to make that very fine adjustment to my composition I think really this is a game changer now because it's got such a linear style movement it means I can make those fine adjustments so overall I rate this tripod very highly. So personally would I recommend that you purchase a Cyan Bird tripod by Bemro? Certainly. As an astrophotographer this is a really good piece of kit to have. It's lightweight, quite modern, sleek in design and most importantly it keeps my camera durable. The only feedback I would say though and again it's just down to how you set your tripod up is when you have your tripod at full length with just the natural design of this tripod I'm just a bit aware whether wind interference could interact with the design of this tripod but really that won't affect me personally as an astrophotographer because I like to shoot low anyway so really I think this is a good contender to go out shooting one night with the Cyan Bird so I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching my latest product review and as always make sure to leave a like ring the bell and subscribe to my YouTube channel to watch my upcoming videos and I'd like to wish you guys clear skies and all the best thank you for watching